Who cares if it's the end of the world? It's time to head back to Hope County. Here are the nine things we wish we knew before playing Far Cry New Dawn. If you missed the somewhat unexpected end of Far Cry 5, it turns out that the father really just wanted to end the world. The good news is that in the 17 years since he pushed the big, dangerous nuke button, Hope County appears to have righted itself. Sure, the flora and fauna have taken a distinctly weird turn, but people are trying to rebuild humanity nonetheless. And that's where you come in. Saving the settlement of prosperity from an evil group known as the Highwaymen and headed up by villainous twins, Mickey and Lou. Even if you played Far Cry 5 though, you might need a couple of tips. From the best fangs for hire, no, to the most productive ways of farming ethanol. Here are nine things we wish we knew before playing Far Cry New Dawn. Save yourself. Well, here you are, the end of the world. And guess what? Your money doesn't work here, punk. It's the end of days and everywhere has stopped taking MasterCard. The good news though is that there's a roaring trade in duct tape, copper, titanium and various cogs that look like they'd fit in a giant watch. Phew. If I had to share one golden rule for Far Cry New Dawn with you, it would be to collect it all. Pick it all up. Fill those unlimited pockets and loot every single dead enemy. Serious progression here demands stuff. Whether you want weapons, vehicles, medkits, or even to revive the fallen members of your guns and fangs for hire, it's time to be a Bethesda fan's walking nightmare as over-encumbrance is rejected in favour of endless things. Loot chests, open suitcases and pilfer everything you can from nature, because you're going to need it. In terms of the most important lootables, keep an eye out for duct tape as you'll constantly need that for weaponry. You'll even find that some locations actually have a checklist of the key craftables available that you can tick off. That'll come in handy. Far Cry coins are the closest you'll get to actual money here, and while you find them in stashes, more on them in a bit, all they'll buy you is more crafting ingredients, so just keep stealing everything from the world and you won't need to touch them. As an aside, you'll need three different plants to keep crafting med kits. You'll find two of the ingredients quite readily, but Sistanch is only available next to roads, so make sure that you're taking detours and you'll never run out of these very vital pill containers. Believe me when I say that you'll need them to, uh, bear the now standard ferocious Far Cry animal attacks. Just like the world prior to the nuclear apocalypse, fuel is big business. Ethanol makes Far Cry New Dawn's world go round. The highwaymen have been hoarding all the burnable goodness of Hope County for themselves, but you'll need it to level up prosperity. Like crafting items and weapons, everything in your home base needs ethanol to progress. Want better medical facilities, weaponry, explosives or the chance to head out on expeditions? You better start hoarding those barrels. Unlike crafting ingredients, ethanol is rare and slightly harder to get your hands on. You'll get 100 barrels for taking an outpost down, but try not to set the alarms off and you'll get a bonus 25 barrels for staying stealthy. There's also a smaller amount to be found in the supply drops that take place across the world. For these, you'll get a prompt that one is nearby and hear a plane overhead. All you need to do then is watch out for the smoke and head over and crack it open. Beware though, the highwaymen will definitely have other ideas for it. Another excellent way of gaining extra ethanol is keeping an eye out for fuel tankers, getting rid of their drivers and trucking on back to a liberated outpost. Ah, oh, word to the wise though, don't think that you're immune just because you're bigger than everyone else. You are driving a bomb, after all. You've played Far Cry before, this isn't your first rodeo. You know that you're going to be faced with an array of joyous abilities that are going to make you a veritable post-apocalyptic Terminator. You'll begin to earn perk points early on, but where should you start when it comes to insta-learning skills? First off, it really helps to add an extra weapon slot, as you're going to be able to start crafting new guns as soon as you've collected enough duct tape and bits of metal. Depending on how you play too, it really helps to add the repair torch. Not only does it fix the aforementioned trucks of ethanol so they're not quite as explosive, but it also cracks safes and there's plenty of those lurking around Hope County packed with titanium. You'll also want to be able to grapple early if you're heading into the slightly puzzlier stashes of loot. And the binoculars perk is an absolute must-have if you're planning to approach outposts without a companion that labels up enemies for you. 
If you're looking to earn perk points fast, you'll want to hunt down treasure stashes where, just like Far Cry 5, you'll find three perk points as standard. Helpfully too, you'll also earn perk points for liberating innocent civilians from the highwaymen and ticking off the various challenges. You'll probably do these quite naturally as you play, but it doesn't hurt to head into the menu and check out what you can earn. Oh, and perks can be constantly upgraded, so you're never going to run out of anything to spend those points on. What do we have here? It's good to talk. In a game where you can spend a lot of your time blasting goons with a light-up shotgun or riding quad bikes across a forest of mutant deer, it's important to stop every so often and shoot the breeze with the inhabitants of this deadly world. While the map already has specialists labelled up for you to bring back to prosperity, plenty of areas only unlock once you've spoken to people. Stop and save some passers-by from highwaymen and chances are that they'll impart some wisdom about the surrounding area. Keep an eye out for gems over people's heads and they'll give you the location of a nearby treasure stash. If you've got the time, always head to these mini-missions as you'll find a stack of valuable goods, titanium, Far Cry coins, med kits and aforementioned perk magazines. If someone has a blue exclamation mark overhead, you'll get a location of an outpost or another mission. Helpfully too, despite the fact that we're in the post-apocalypse, people still appear to just be taking leisurely strolls across Hope County. And you can trade for furs and ammo on the hoof if you see someone with a backpack icon. Enjoy! Just like Far Cry 5, Far Cry New Dawn has a selection of guns and fangs for hire to aid you in your quest across Hope County. If you don't want anyone talking in your ear though, New Dawn has added two fresh furry companions to feel suitably guilty about taking into harm's way. Say hello to Timber and Horatio. The quests for these two should arrive early in the game if you make sure you're talking to people. Each creature suits a very particular style of play, so who you'll like depends entirely on your stealthy stealthy or all guns blazing approach. Timber, this excellent pupper, is your scout. He helpfully tags up nearby enemies and crafting materials, and once he's murdered enough highwaymen, oh no, good boy, will tag up crafting materials and alarms. Unlike Far Cry 5, where Boomer, RIP, couldn't ride in vehicles alongside you, making you much happier on foot, Timber will jump into cars with you. And yes, look, he can even sit in the sidecar of a motorbike, making it a perfect time to make the most of New Dawn's photo mode. Now that adorable moment is out of the way, we can talk about Horatio. As you might have gathered, Horatio is a tank. Take this hog into battle and he'll charge shield-carrying enemies and generally eat the heads of highwaymen across Hope County. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Far Cry New Dawn doesn't mess around when it comes to weaponry. Your very first trip to a workbench with a collection of tape and craftables results in the saw launcher, a delightful death machine of spinning blades and happy faces. Don't switch this magical creation out too soon though, as despite the fact that it takes a bit to reload, you can take out multiple foes at a time as it pings through flesh. Fights with gangs suddenly become so much more fun as murder discs spin and ping off walls like a deadly game of air hockey. Even hunting becomes a joy as you shoot one, get one free on a variety of animals. Plus, if you don't feel like it's powerful enough, another version arrives further through the game. Aside from this monstrosity, there's a huge array of weapons to choose from. If you're a fan of the stealthy approach though, there's nothing better than this simple bow. It might have more than a hint of the Far Cry primals, but for getting in and out without being noticed, there's nothing quite like a smug headshot or two as you creep around. For the first time in Far Cry, enemies and weapons are ranked. While your standard goons are level 1 cannon fodder to match your first set of weapons, there's a selection of different enemy types who are significantly harder to take down. This makes all that ethanol collection much more essential as you level up your weapon crafting and prosperity to make things a little easier. You'll spot hardier enemies with armour, shields and bigger guns, and just need to make sure that you have the guns to match. If you're a stealthy player, remember to head into your perks and make sure that your takedowns are up to date. No one wants to miss out on those satisfying one-hit kills, and all you need to do now for an air assassination is jump on top of your foe. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you. Also important to note here is that you'll probably meet these enemies if you choose to scavenge your existing outposts and let the bad guys back in so that you can steal even more ethanol back from them. Wait, man, they've been trying to take this place back every night since. It might be the end of the world, but Far Cry New Dawn is just beautiful to wander around in. That is, if you're not being completely mauled by a lynx. 
One particular site mission is all about taking in those little moments, and it's entirely based on old pictures. Scattered around the world are camera locations, where you can look back at how places were before Joseph Seed hit that giant nuke button that said don't push. Stand next to the camera on the stool, pull out a photograph of old school Hope County and line it up to earn a perk point. There are nine photo locations across the world and they make a nice change of pace from the usual explosive carnage. Who knew that we'd be looking back at cult-ridden Americana with such fondness? There it is. And finally, you'll be doing plenty of hunting, but keep an eye out for the mythical beasts scattered across the world. These clearly have been more affected by the radiation than any other animal. And if the moss all over them and giant glowing red weak points don't give them away, the golden crown over their health bar will. These are seriously deadly creatures, and it's probably best to wait for some improved weaponry before you take them on. You'll also need more than your fair share of med packs to withstand their attacks. They'll disappear if you don't manage to take enough damage off them, so keep an eye out once you're a few hours into the game. Good luck. So that's nine things we wish we'd known before starting Far Cry New Dawn. Let us know if you've got any tips for the game in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more new game videos just like this one. If you do already subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know exactly when our next video lands. 